Hi. It can be somewhat difficult to keep a retro gaming channel in the mainstream and relevant on YouTube, but today I think I have a bit of a chance to somewhat do that. So ChatGPT has hit the mainstream in more ways than I expected. A major news service over here in Australia, it's called the ABC. It's kind of the equivalent of the BBC in the UK. But even they're reporting about ChatGPT. Does I say that right? Chat GPT. All the schools are worried that the kids are going to use it to cheat on assignments, and to be honest, they probably will. I personally found out about Chat GPT late last year, and I was planning on making a video then, but I did suffer a bit of burnout, which I mentioned in another video, so it never happened. But I personally discovered, uh, heard about Chat GPT on the WAN show, which is sort of like the podcast Friday afternoon show that's on. Linus Tech Tips with Linus himself and Luke, whose surname I can't remember. And sorry if I'm a little bit sweaty, it is an Australian summer and there's no aircon in this room, but it's where all the stuff is and I'm too lazy to cart it all into another room where there is aircon, so please forgive that. I'll try not to be too gross. Anyway, sort of losing my trail of thought. Yes, so Linus Tech Tips specifically the WAN show. So late last year, they started talking about this, head of, you know, they're ahead of the curve when it comes to technology, of course. And Luke mentioned using ChatGPT to play a text adventure, like an old school Sierra or LucasArts text adventure. And he said it was pretty good. They didn't play it on the show or anything, but he sort of just mentioned it and I wanted to do that. Like this is a retro gaming channel. Text adventures are a retro gaming genre. So let's do it. Let's first have a look at what ChatGPT and OpenAI is all about first though. So here's the main page. So at the moment it is free because it is in the research preview. So that does mean, oops, go away. That does mean that all the information it uses is like 12 months out of date or something. Um, but what it is capable of is amazing. So straight from the horse's mouth, ChatGPT, optimizing language models for dialogue. So we've trained a model called ChatGPT, which interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. Um, they do give some examples here. So one cool thing is that it can write code. So when it talks about, I should just rewind it a little bit. When they talk about, uh, conversational, interacting in a conversational way, it means you can ask it a question. It's a chatbot, essentially, an AI chatbot. And it can be like, yeah, yeah, you know, I think it's this. And then you can do follow-up questions. You can you can argue with it, I guess, if you really wanted to, about who's right. You can really push it to do things uh, that other chatbots just weren't capable of. So there's some cool examples here, like in the following sample, ChatGPT asks the clarifying questions to debug code. So, you know, they say this code is not working like how I expect, how do I fix it? And it says, you know, it can't really do it without context. Can you provide more information? What is the code supposed to do? And what isn't working as expected? Also, is this the entire code or is this just part of it? So, I don't know, it says just part of it. The error never surfaces. I think there is something wrong with the channel. <laughs> Um, so I don't really know much about code as much as I want to, but so that's going over my head a little bit, if I'm going to be honest, but these other examples are a bit more for, you know, simple folk like myself. So, um, basically it can refuse to answer a, a question if it thinks it's illegal or inappropriate, but it, it does, you do have the ability to clarify and maybe it will change its mind. So. You could ask, how do you break into someone's house? And it says it doesn't want to talk about that. Go away. That's illegal. Bad. So, but you can just say, actually, I'm wondering how to protect my home from a burglary. And they go, oh yeah, okay. Well, here's some several steps like keeping your doors and windows locked, making sure your property is well lit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Another example, um, you can ask it what is Fermat's little theorem. I have no idea what Fermat's little theorem is, but here is an explanation. And then it says how to use it in uh, that. <laughs> and like I said, I'm a big dum dum. And yeah, it just, it goes on. And then you can write a limerick about it. Nice. And then summarize the conversation. This is a good one. It's how, 
help me write a short note to introduce myself to a neighbor. So it gives this very sort of basic note. You know, you could use it to write like a cover letter or something if you wanted to. And then you can be like, cool, that's great, but how can I make it a bit more formal? You know, my neighbor usually wears suits and drives a Rolls Royce. So you can just say, here you go, I'm writing to introduce myself. And it just has it in a very more professional, formal way. But then it says, can you send it for me? And it says, no, it can't. It's an AI assistant. It does not have the ability to send anything. So it can give you questions. It can give you code. Sorry, give you answers, I should say. But it's it's not really connected to the wider web. It can't, you know, sh it's not like, um, I don't know, like any sort of assistant, like a Google assistant, which could, you know, automatically reply to an email for you, for instance. This is still in the research phase, as they say. So basically this is free for us to do and just interact with and play around with. And, but I can imagine this is gonna be commercialized a lot. <laughs> um, Microsoft are huge investors in this. They've invested something like some ridiculous number, like $10 billion, and they're gonna integrate it into things like Bing. So I don't know, maybe Bing will start being more useful than, you know, how to <laughs> Googling the, it's like, give me the Chrome browser because you know, that's what comes up in Edge when you install it. So anyway, this is all this is all part of OpenAI, which is an organization who are research and, well, they said they're an AI research and deployment company. Their mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. And today it's gonna to write me a text adventure. So you might've heard of like DALI, that this is sort of like a, a progression of that, if you will. But anyway, enough of the gibbering and the jabbering let's play so basically you can sign up it's free you do have to give an email and a password and stuff but it's completely free to use at the moment as of re recording this there's no sort of date set but you know I, I think very soon there is going to be um it's going to be co commercialized they're going to start making money from it <laughs> so yeah this this version from january 9th free research preview and yeah, so I don't know. So you can be, you can, you don't have to type it, type in things in a very specific way. You can be very, you can be as casual or as or as formal as you like. Basically, it it'll, it should understand what you're trying to ask it, unless you're being super abstract. So I want to play a text adventure. Sure, I'd be happy to help you with that. Do you have a specific story or setting in mind, or would you like me to come up with one for you? So that's cool, but just to show that this isn't the same answer it gives every time, down here you can regenerate the response and it'll just do it again. It could give us the same thing or it could give us something completely different. So it's happened a bit of a think. Hopefully I didn't break it too much. <laughs> Maybe I've broken it. Yep. Cursor got a little bit thicker. Oh, you can actually go back. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. All right, it's not working. Let's just go new chat. I'll, I'll ask it in a slightly different way. Let's play a text adventure. Oh, it's um, playing funny Dudleys. Maybe if we just refresh it, hopefully they'll clear it out. Uh, can I just there we go okay so it's going again um, I'm happy to play it. Oh, okay give me the same question um because I'll be honest I didn't really play but I was trying this out before and the responses it were giving me were different it was like choose a setting or just straight away just gave me a setting like in a forest um, Let's just ask it to generate. Please generate me. I'm gonna misspell this, see if it uh, figures it out. Please generate me one. Big brain human trying to take down the big brain computer. Well, this isn't going well. <laughs> It'd be good if there was a way to just, ah, oh, there we go, bin it. Yeah, all right, let's just get rid of it. I think it's just stuck on it. Let's play a text adventure. Ah, 
Okay. I realized down here, or well, the button's gone now, but there is a completely, you can just completely clear the conversation. So I want to play a text adventure. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, I've logged out and logged back in. Write me a text adventure. It's quite annoying when it works, you know, when you're not filming and then you start filming and just everything breaks. Here we go. Anyway, you find yourself in a dark, damp cave. The only light comes from a faint glow in the distance. You can hear the sound of water dripping in the distance. I was going to play with fire here. I'm just going to regenerate the response. Let's see if it gives me something else. There we go. You find yourself in a dense forest, surrounded by tall trees and the sound of chirping birds. Ahead of you is a fork in the path. To the left, the path appears to lead deeper into the forest, while to the right, it looks like it leads to a clearing. What would you like to do? Take the path to the left, take to the path, path to the right, explore around where you are. I think we should explore where we are. So it's giving us a numbered response there. So we just go three, just like a text adventure. As you take a look around, you notice a small stream running nearby. The water appears to be fresh and clear. I said that the wrong way around. You also spot a small cave entrance on the side of a nearby hill. Would you like to follow the stream, investigate the cave, go back to the fork in the path? Let's follow the stream. Water leads to civilization. You follow the stream and come across a small waterfall cascading into a pool. The water is cool and inviting and you feel refreshed after taking a drink. As you continue on, you notice a small fishing boat tied to a tree on the back of the steam stream. Please let me get in the boat. Take a swim in the pool, use the boat to explore upstream, go back the way you came. Totally get in that boat. I'm on a boat, mother trucker. So you, you climb the small fishing boat and begin to row upstream. That sounds like hard work. The stream becomes narrower and more shallow as you go, and you have to duck to avoid low hanging branches. After a few minutes, the stream opens up into a small lake. There's a small island in the middle of the lake, which is covered in dense vegetation. What would you like to do? Land on the island and explore it? Row around the lake? Or go back the way you came? I think I'll explore the island. You guide the boat to the island and tie it to a tree. As you step onto the island, you notice a small clearing with a fire pit in the center. You also see a small path leading deeper into the island. Would you like to follow the path, build a fire and spend the night on the island? Or go back to the boat? Don't feel like settling just yet, let's follow the path. You follow the path and it leads to a small shelter made of branches and leaves. Inside, you find a note that reads, Welcome to the island. You are stranded here for the rest of your life. Haha, <laughs> -ha, just kidding. But make the most of your time here and use your survival skills to find a way out. As you look around, you realize that you have to find a way out of the island by using the resources available. You can find fruits and berries around the island, fish in the lake, and make shelter for yourself. You also notice a small waterfall and cave on the other side of the island. So we can explore the cave, go to the waterfall, start gathering resources and make shelter. I'm going to explore the cave first and then we'll find some food. Oh, please don't break on me. <laughs> please. Please, you're going so well. I'm gonna go feed the cat because I can hear her meowing and if it's uh, still trying to process it when I get back I'm just going to kill it but at the very least it sort of shows it you know and sorry I can't complete the response <laughs> oh. Ooh. really setting a good example here aren't I well can we regenerate response will that do something Oh no. Let's 
Let's just go with one again. Let's see if that... Oh, there we go. It's working. You attempt to move the boulder, but it doesn't budge. You try pushing it, pulling it, and even digging around it, but it's clear that it's not going to move without the proper tools. Feeling discouraged, you decide to head back to the shelter and start gathering resources to survive on the island until you find a way out. As day passes, you get better at surviving on the island and make a raft to explore the lake. One day, while fishing, you notice a passing boat and use your fire to signal them. They notice you and rescued you. You find you finally able to leave the island and return home, but you'll never forget the adventure and survival skills you've learned on the island. The end. You know what? I don't hate it. It's pretty basic, but for something that a computer program figured out on the fly, it's most impressive. Um, I'll just quickly show you. I don't know. Now. Write me a cover lever letter level. What am I saying? Letter for the AI industry. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I am writing to express my interest in position name, role at company name. As an experienced number of years professional with a background in relevant, this is like copy paste for anything. I am confident in my ability to make a valuable contribution to your team. I have a strong background in specific skills or technologies related to the AI industry, including experiences, experience in specific projects or areas or expertise. I am familiar with the latest developments and it goes on and on and on. It's, but you know, it's like writing this as it goes. Like n none of this is pre, uh, you know, it's not like it's a response that's been stored anywhere. It's like you could write in anything and it just figures out a response. I wish I was more creative. Write me an episode of Retro Game On. Let's see if it knows who I am. The Lost Temple of Zoltar. Um, it may not realize it just says retro game. It's probably just, it's writing a retro game. <laughs> What else can I ask it? I'm just looking around the room trying to like think of just trying to get some sort of inspiration. Um, what is the best desoldering station? There are many desoldering stations on the market and the best one for you will depend on your specific needs and budget. Some popular options include the Hacko and it just gives a little bit of a description on the Hacko. The, uh, the same one from Weller. And let's see if it has any more. It's just, I mean, it's just, it's got all this information from the internet from a year ago. And it's just like, this thing is useful. It's genuinely useful. It's more useful than Google. If it was just plugged into the active internet and getting, oh no, the cat's about to wreck everything. <laughs> it can be the end of the video. There we go. Yeah, she's happy, she's just eating. But, um, if this was connected into the active internet, hello, and you could just ask it like, how well should I feed my cat? Is my fat, is my cat too fat? Um, I don't know, just relevant information. You just asked information about relevant news. It's gonna be big. It's, it's gonna change the world, I think. So please don't jump behind the computer. The window is behind the computer. So she tries to get in there and she's gonna knock all the crap over. Anyway, hopefully that's been entertaining and informative. I enjoyed it. I've been enjoying playing around of chat GPT and I'm excited to see where it will lead. Big players like Microsoft are, you know, investing silly money into it. So I'm just super excited. And it's also kind of nice just to talk about like a relevant subject on this channel for once. It's not really the purpose of the channel, but you know, I kind of like to be able to do that sort of thing where I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.